Hello and welcome back. Today we have the second set of weird dice that I got from Maths Gear, and these are the Go First dice. They are four 12 sided dice and they are arranged in such a way that whenever you roll two or three or four of them, they will never tie and you will always have a absolute order of the dice so that you can use them for example to determine who goes first in a board game or another thing. Um, they come with this nice little manual showing what the numbers on the dice are and explaining a bit about the background and ideas what you can do with them. You can decide who pays for drinks first in the pub, you can fairly order people in the conga line you can randomize assigned seating for car journeys or you can choose who gets to pick the go first dice first. Well yeah they obviously have quite a bit of humor and um, whenever you roll those dice you can put them in a definite order without having to worry that you get a tie. For example here you can either say lowest wins or highest wins, red will win if, lowest, if highest will wins then blue, then green, then black. Well, how does this work? The dice have 12 sides. The numbers on the dice range from 1 to 48. And um, I wrote this down here. This is the actual distribution of the numbers for the dice. And you can see that every four numbers uh, permuted in a different way. So 1, 2, 3, 4 are ordered black, red, green, blue. Then you get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and so on. So there's for every four numbers there's a nice permutation and in this way they got an ordering that makes the dice fair. Every subset of the dice, for example take blue and red, has equal probability of winning or take any three dice out of the four or even the four dice. It's actually not really um, straightforward to see because for example in any of the four columns blue has the most highest values but still it's supposedly not less fair than the other dice. So instead of using mathematics the formula etc like in the last video we will do actual science here by doing just a long sampling of those dice and with long I mean at least 20 throws or so and don't worry you would won't have to watch all of those I will make this a, a sped up version of this video and I will try to do at least for 20 maybe even more depending on how fast this goes then we can see if any of those dice lands in the first place, second place, third, fourth place with equal probability, roughly. Of course, the more throws we get, the better. But um, usually those estimates converge pretty slowly, so taking 20 or 40 dice is not a big difference. Um, probably it's better if you take 200 throws but yeah, I think I won't spend the whole evening doing that. So what I wrote down here is a little table where we can mark all the places for the different dice. And yeah, I think I'll just start and see when I'm running out of patience or see that the result is getting useful. So let's go.
All right, here's the end result. Um, I actually did 125 rolls of the dice and black, red, green and blue came in first relatively fair, 31 to 32. Second place was in my run at least, by the bit towards black. The third place was again pretty um, fair and the fourth place was biased a bit against black and a bit towards green and somewhat blue but this is still not quite enough rolls I think um, to actually see if these dice are completely fair. And with this result I would rather say if you don't want to turn out last you don't use uh, please use the black die but as I said if you take 100 more or so this result might turn out quite differently. So yeah, what do you think about this, these dice? I think they are pretty nice. They're useful if you have like board game rounds where you need to find out who gets the first turn. And they are pretty cleverly designed. And I think they are fair enough that it doesn't matter in those circumstances. One reason why they might not be fair is I don't know if those numbers for example are etched on the same way and carve away the same material or if there's a very slight imbalance due to for example single digits making a heavier face than double digits so yeah I'm not sure about that but I think for the purpose that these are sold for they are pretty decent and uh, quite a lot of fun so that's it for today. Thanks a lot. Um, share, like and subscribe if you want to. And thanks for watching.